Okay, absolute value. Absolute value, when it has a variable inside of it, has to be broken up into two parts. So you would start out by saying 2x minus 6 equals 10. So you take care of the case of when the inside would be positive when you put the variable in, number into the variable. Then you take the opposite to take care of what happens when you put a number into the variable and the inside's negative. Now, equals is always or. So you would add 6, divide by 2. Here you would take the opposite. Subtract 6, divide by negative 2. Now, when you're dealing with just equals, it's just solid dots on negative 2 and 8. So this one, you go 1 third x minus 1 is less than 10. And the opposite. So we would add 1. Less than is always and. You're coming towards the middle. Multiply by 3. Here distribute the negative. Subtract 1. Multiply by negative 3. Switch to inequality. We multiply by negative. So it would be everything between negative 27 and 33. Trixie, get, get back. I'm working. I know. I'm sorry I yelled at you. Sorry about that, kids. So here. We have 4 minus x is greater than or equal to 10. Or, it's greater than, so it's or, the opposite. So we would subtract 4. Take the opposite. Here we take the opposite. Add 4. So it would be less than or equal to negative 6. We Or greater than 14. We So that's our absolute value problems. Didn't really go through all the steps from the start. Just showed you how to do three problems. Make sure you're on track. Have a good day.